and Chaley's modeling the new space. <laughs> the buffet table fit perfectly in this space because of this is where the baseboard gets cut off from when the counter was there, so it fit perfect. So, you know, it needs some drywall touches and paint, but I'm going to be repainting anyway. So, it works really good in this space. It gives us actually more room in here. So, um, because the counter went out quite more. So, yeah, so this is what we're doing for right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Has more space. So, let's go look and see. Oh, well, okay, let's go by the front door first. I'm still organizing, so ignore that. So, I moved the coat rack to this corner and the shoe bucket into that corner for now. I mean, it's not my favorite how it looks, but once I repaint, I have an idea of what I want to do on the wall, and I will save that later to tell you. Day two of construction, and it's loud downstairs, so you'll hear banging. Okay, so I need to organize this, and it's kind of a pit, and I've been wanting to reorganize it for a while. And so all our tablecloths are pretty much thrown in here. Okay, and then this side, I keep like vases or vases and put my like nice porcelain plates that I probably take out twice a year. <laughs> so I need to find a home. And remember, in that desk, I, that's where I kept my uh, kitty drawer um, with all the... I'm gonna back this out, hold on. With all the um, kids' plates and cups. So now I have to find, um, oh, what am I sitting on? <laughs> Ouch, a bullet. Um, so now I have to find a, a home for all the plates, cups, for the kids. And I, I don't wanna put them back up in the taller cabinets because it was super nice having them, you know. Um, it was nice having them where it was reachable for the kids, you know? So I've got to figure that out as well. So, and then I was thinking, gosh, you know, we always have company over and we're always using paper goods. Well, what if like I make these two drawers right here where I could keep like plastic forks, spoons, and all my travel tablecloths that I pack. I always have, like I go to the dollar store, I always get dollar store tablecloths, so we have them to throw on tables, to, you know, to bring when we go on picnics and stuff like that, so. I don't know. So I'm gonna organize this. Do I have something on my face? I'm out of it. Can you tell I'm out of it? I'm out of it. Um, oh, I almost, <laughs> I wasn't giving you the bird. Um, so yeah, so now I gotta find a home for all the stuff that I have on my table. Day two, I went to bed, but it's still out because I had to figure it out. So, okay, I'm gonna organize this buffet table and hopefully I can get it, I don't know, workable. So, yeah, yeah. So let's do it. Let's let's do this. Let's make this functional for my kitchen. And I'll show you the drawers. Hold on. Because it was by the front door, a lot of stuff just gets shoved in here. I didn't really utilize it all that well. I mean, it's ridiculous. So, look, I have a come in, come on in sign from when I have parties. Isn't that crazy? So, all right. Trying to clean this crap up and get organized and get on with life. Wish me luck. And there's us. When we were, how old was I? 20. I was 20 and he was 21? No. He was 22. And look how little. Oh. But anywho, yeah, these pictures were all in this drawer. There's us, the night we got engaged. He proposed to me the roof at the top of the Joseph Smith Memorial Building. Yay, look at that. And then here's a wedding picture. 
That was taken at Thanksgiving Point in Lehigh. I love that picture. But I'm not, I really don't like my wedding pictures like at all. Like, I'm sorry, but our photographer wasn't the greatest. And plus it was 1998. So if I could redo it now with all that we have, do you know how awesome it would be? Isn't he handsome? Oh my gosh. I'll brag about him. So yeah, it just could have been better. And it wasn't. The pictures were just, yeah. But do you guys like Scentsy candles? Oh my gosh, I do. Like these wax things. Um, this one is sticky cinnamon bun, yummy. And pumpkin roll. I only um, burn these during the um, fall. I have my scents for all the seasons. Oh my gosh. But I'm when it comes August, I am itching to put my fall decor down. So once the basement is done, um, I'm taking all my fall all my fall stuff out. So yeah. This is I have some more of those melting. This is not scentsy though, but this is for Christmas. This smells like pine. So yeah, just still going through, finding interesting stuff. Oh my gosh, this picture here. I got this at my mom's at Thanksgiving. I am 18 years old right here, and I am hopping on a train to move to Utah for Massachusetts. Look how young. Oh, that started it all right there, me hopping on a train. Anywho, all right, I'm gonna finish getting the crap out of this drawer. It's amazing. I know you guys have drawers like this at home. You go home and, after you're done watching this, you go home and you, you go clean your crap out, okay? Get a garbage bag or Walmart bag and I want you to pick 15 things out of each junk drawer and throw them away. How about that to start you off so it doesn't seem overwhelming, okay? Grab a garbage sack, Walmart sack, 15 things you can get rid of in all your junk drawers. Yeah, you could do it and then tell me how it went or film it and give me a video response back. That would be cool. Okay, see you in a sec. And here's the outcome for right now. Um, has our family home evening chart on it who has the song, prayer, scripture, lesson, treat, and activity. And so, okay, I'll show you how I organize the, the drawers. This drawer has all my Scentsy candles. That doesn't go in there, Jonah. All my Scentsy candles and placemats that go on the table. This drawer has all the pencils. And I had some of these scattered in the office and the drawer on the desk before. So I just utilized that and put it back. Has my camera case, my hole puncher for my budget binder, pencils, and everything you know the kids need while they're doing their homework at the table. Okay, and in here I have all of our tablecloths, travel tablecloths. Oh. Um, these have a name. These are the plates that go underneath the nice plates, and they're dusty. Um, this is a birthday plate. Um, a friend gave this to us a while back. The box is busted, but whatever. This is a birthday plate that whoever's birthday it is, they have their cake or dessert that they're having on this birthday plate. So we use that. And then all my nice um, porcelain plates are right there. In here is the kids' station. Um, this has all their bowls, cups. Their Tupperware for school. This has a um, this has an ice pack. So when I know I'm going to use them the night before, I stick this in the freezer so they could keep like potato salad or anything cold really for them. Um, their snack bins are right here, and just all their cups and stuff go here. Here I have a caddy that holds. Paper plates, um, for, you know, all our paper products so we can just pick it up and go sit on the deck and eat. And this holds back here all my vases, vases. Pretty cool, right? So, yeah. So, find a spot in your home. If you've got a spot like I had that just wasn't working, eliminate it and figure something else out. I have seen people where they didn't have a desk or anywhere to store anything in their kitchen area. They brought a really nice dresser in, 
a thin dresser and painted it and utilized the drawers. Uh, I've seen Green Apple Home do that and somebody else do it too. And I thought, brilliant, if you have the space for it, go for it. But try to have find everything a home. Um, I did have this buffet table as a home for things, but as you saw, it just, life happened and it got out of hand. So try to make your space work for you. Obviously that desk in my kitchen wasn't and it was driving me crazy. So now we have more room in here. It really opened the kitchen up, which I'm happy about. So yeah, well, I hope that can help you or inspire you in some way. So yeah, you guys have a great day. Bye.